Hello everyone and welcome to my video. In this one I'd like to show how to install Micmac on Linux. Sorry I'm in the Micmac wiki. Let me to go down to the installation section. Go on down. I'm doing it for Ubuntu. And basically I'm just gonna run through the instructions one by one. I'll start by copying the instruction for installing git. I'll copy that, go to my terminal, paste that in, and run it. Answer yes. Just be a little bit longer. And it's done. Okay. And get ready for the next command. This will, as it says, install all the prerequisites. that. And copy and paste that command. Answering yes to the questions as they come up. Alright, and it's done. It took a few minutes, but now all the prerequisites are complete. So next, I believe, is to actually get the Micmac source code. Yep, and we use this next command down here. So once again, copy and paste. All right, now we have the Micmac source code all downloaded. Listing in a CD into Micmac. I'm going to make a directory called build and change into that. And I want to go back and copy another command. What I'm doing is I'm running the build from sources instructions manually. So I already did the cd to micmac, make directory, cd build. And now I want to get the quick, the qt. And that's a nice quick build. Next step. And you can ignore this developer portion here. I think this is for if you're developing the Micmac software directly. And I'm only interested in using it. 
And next is this make install, which will actually build it from the source. I'm going to copy that, paste it in, and the K has a number of processors. This is a virtual machine running with four processors, four CPUs, but it gives me trouble if I try to do that, so I'm going to try running it with uh, only three CPUs. And go ahead and start that up. And this the begins the build of Micmac. This is going to take a while, so we'll be skipping forward to the end and then testing it out and make sure it works. Okay, the computer crashed. So I need to start the build process over again. Open up the terminal. Go to the Micmac or Micmac. And into the build and make install minus J three. The uh, Micmac is fully built, and we can do couple of quick commands to see if it actually works. Oh, but first I need to add it to my um, to my path so I can run it from anywhere. So back to the install page. One more copy and paste. To copy this line to the end of the file. Okay, install. Check that. Clinton McMack. And that should do it. Go ahead and save that. Exit out. And I'll close out this extra terminal. And try the command. MM3D. Not found. Okay, I'm going to close the terminal. Open up a fresh one. And try it again. MM3D. And there we got it. That shows that it's working. I can check that the dependencies are all there. This 
last command of this installation page. And it shows everything is found. And it's looking good. Okay, one more thing I want to do is on another page. Let's see here. Okay, coming on up, we're gonna to go to the GitHub page. They have their own set of instructions for installation. I'm going to come down to installation test. Okay, they say to go to this page. I'm going to get the Boda dataset zip file. Okay, scroll down to the bottom here, and it's this link here that ends in data. Okay, I'm going to scroll down the list, and it actually has a different name, it's Buddha Dataset 2. I'm going to download that. Copy this folder, go home, and paste it right here. That way it's in the same level as the Micmac folder. Now we'll go back to the GitHub pages, and they have a sample of how to run it right here. I'm going to copy that. Back to my terminal. Oh, I need to go into that folder first. Make sure it's here. B O U D H A. Okay, I'm in. There's the image files. Now I can paste in the command and run it. Okay, this is going to take several minutes. I'm going to pause it here and come back when it's done. And it's done. Now I can take a look at the result of the test using a software that I installed, MeshLab. Here we go. Got a file, import mesh. And here's the Buddha folder. Go inside, inside this Mech 6. You find three PLY files. Then select them all and open. There we go. We got a 3D cloud result. I'm going to go make it look a little better by turning off the shading for each of the three pieces. And there we have it. About 1,500,000 points. Ooh, too far. Yeah, 
And that's about it. Mac is fully installed and working. Uh, thanks for watching.